The number one high-end item to look for every single time you go to a Dollar Tree is their books. Now as is this Dollar Tree book looks just like any other book that you would find, nothing too special about it. However, once you remove the cover, you get a really gorgeous high-end looking book. This one is so pretty. I love the title, Battle of Versailles. That just sounds high-end. And it also has a really nice embellishment on the cover, but I tend to look for solid colors that match my decor. Of course, black goes with everything, but I also have blue, gray, creams, and whites. The Dollar Tree book section is the place to go. And something to also keep in mind if you are checking the Dollar Tree book section, sometimes you can score some awesome coffee table books. I think this one hands down is my favorite, mostly because it is a crafting theme coffee table book. However, I also found this a really beautiful, it's a cookbook, there's recipes in here, but it's just a stunning looking book to display in your home and only $1. Hi there, I'm Ali, and welcome to my channel. Home decor is just so expensive. As somebody who wants to curate a really beautiful looking home or well, apartment, I know I can't afford the decor that I'm eyeing up in all of these high-end stores. So I wanna share with you a couple Dollar Tree hacks and products that you can buy that will look high-end for a significant fraction of the price. And I think it is time to go to the first DIY, which is a really fun and easy way to make high-end looking wall decor using entirely Dollar Tree items. A Dollar Tree product that is great for creating high-end looking wall art are their wall stickers. They have some really amazing patterns, including this sheet of butterflies. And the first thing I did was start by cutting down a piece of paper to 11 by 14. This is art paper, but you could definitely use a Dollar Tree poster board. Next, I used my ruler and a pencil to very lightly mark the center points on this piece of paper. That would make it just so much easier when I go in to place the sticker. And what I decided to do was make two rows of four butterflies, so four on one side and four on the other. And I kind of went in with this organically and didn't go in like a specific order when doing this, as you can see here, and kind of just placed the butterflies where I felt that they fit the most. Next, we're going to be using these Dollar Tree wood rulers to turn them into a DIY poster hanger. So you can easily remove these stickers off of the surface of these rulers, which is awesome for crafting. And then I just used my Dollar Tree square to create a straight line where I could use my hacksaw to cut off the little end that has the hole on it. I also made sure to give these wood pieces a little bit of a sand just to get off any of the rough spots. Now I'm going in with my favorite wood stain, which is Early American, and I gave both rulers a good coat of the stain and then just let it dry for several hours. Once the stain dried, I used a little bit of hot glue on the front of the rulers, which is now the back, and you can kind of use that line that you see across the middle to help you line up the paper nice and straight on the back of the rulers. And finally, I used some twine to attach the back so this can be hung up on the wall. And that completes this really simple wall art. I think using the rulers to create the faux poster hanger look is a really unique and high-end way to hang up artwork on the wall. And I just can't get over how gorgeous these butterfly stickers are. The next item that you should definitely grab the next time you're in Dollar Tree are their taper candles. Taper candles have become so trendy in decor lately, whether they are fun and funky shaped candles or just styled in a really cute candle holder. These are a must have from Dollar Tree. If you were to buy these at any other sort of store, you're looking at upwards of five to $10 for taper candles that you can buy for $1. A third great high-end find that you can get at Dollar Tree that you shouldn't pass up is their vases and glass decor items. They just came out with these crafts that were in their store and these are just so high-end and beautiful looking. 
and they also have a brand name on the bottom. So that is something to always keep in mind is look out for brand names when shopping at Dollar Tree. You cannot beat having a gorgeous glass vase somewhere that you're using to display florals or they also make some really good DIYs. You could spray paint these, you could use the baking soda paint technique and transform these into really trendy decor pieces that match your home. Now let's move into the second DIY which is a very inexpensive take on those incredibly trendy chain link decor pieces that you see and this one is going to blow your mind at just how easy it is to make and how affordable it is because these chain links retail for way more than what I'm about to show you. Okay, this next one's a little bit unique, but you're going to need three of these Dollar Tree wood snakes. And then you're gonna wanna go in with a craft knife and very carefully cut off their heads and tails so that all you're left with is their bodies, which I honestly felt kind of bad doing this because I do think these snakes are really cute. <laughs> Now using a combination of E6000 and hot glue, I combine the ends to make a circle and then I also use some Dollar Tree clamps to hold it in place. But I did in the end find out that using just hot glue was way easier than combining it with the E6000 when doing this project. And basically I'm just taking each of the body pieces of this snake and turning it into a chain link to make one of those really trendy wood chains. I've seen this DIY done before with just these snakes, but I wanted to enhance it a little bit to fill in all of those gaps because I do think they make it look a little cheap. So I'm gonna be using some Dollar Tree lightweight spackling and just start applying it in each of the little crevices that is in the snake. And it does take a little bit of effort to do this, but I promise the results are awesome. And I actually got this idea from Justin Ray. He used these snakes to make candles on a tray for I think a mystery box challenge. And I just thought it was so genius. I also used a damp paper towel to kind of clean off any of the excess and it also gave these snakes a little bit of a whitewash look which I think is so cool. You may have to go in with a second coat of the spackle because it does shrink just a little bit but that completes this project and I think this turns some simple Dollar Tree supplies into a very high-end decor piece that you would see retail for way more than the $4 it took to make. Next up, let's talk about the dishware and glassware aisle. In this aisle, you can find a ton of high-end looking dinner plates, glasses, and things like that. Now, one of my favorites are these glass mugs, and I don't find them in my Dollar Tree all the time. I do find that they are more in stock in the fall and winter months, but these are so high-end looking. I love them. And to buy these, they retail for way more money when you can just pick one up for a dollar. While continuing to talk about this aisle, I do think it's worth mentioning that I do enjoy their dinner plate section. I just have two other small little white saucers, but you can find some gorgeous, just white looking plates. They have ones with different colors and designs to match your color schemes. And they're really high quality for only being a dollar a piece. Since we are on the topic of the dishware aisle, I thought I would show you a DIY that you can make using items from this aisle. So let me show you how to make this trendy pedestal bowl. Finishing it out with a very easy DIY, I'm using this clear Dollar Tree bowl that was in the floral section as well as one of these plastic cups. And the first thing I did was just sand the cups and this bowl, gave it a very light sand. You, you do wanna go light handed because the sandpaper will leave some scratch marks on the surface, but I do find that you do have to do this in order for the paint to stick. After I sanded, I went in with a damp paper towel to just get off all of the excess little plastic dust and then a dry paper towel to dry it off. Then I used a combination of E6000 glue and hot glue to attach the cup to the bottom of the bowl. And I also used a little extra hot glue to enforce it right around the seam that it created. And finally, the last step is to just give this two coats of spray paint with some satin black spray paint. I chose black because that seems to be a popular modern color choice right now, but you could do colors to match your decor, you could paint on designs, whatever your heart desires. I hope you enjoyed this video and these DIYs and tips that I offered. If you wanna see a part two or some more of my high-end Dollar Tree decor suggestions, let me know down in the comments because Dollar Tree is constantly adding in new and exciting items. Now, if you haven't already yet, hit that subscribe button, turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any time I post. 
And that's all I have for you in this video. I'll see you on my next one. Bye.